How's it going guys? This is Russ with Joe's Gaming and Electronics. I'm going to be tearing apart the Power Beats. I don't know what to call them, but the Hyper Performance HP Power Beats. So, it's my first time taking them apart. We'll see how it goes. I'm trying to explain to you how the whole process is. If I don't speak, just bear with me. Trying to take them apart so I can actually put them back together and we can use them again. Take a quick look inside. Same thing like the Power Beats Pro. It's got the little clip that it goes inside. But plastic's a lot thicker, so it's a lot easier to work with, to work around. So, seems like it's coming up a little bit better than the Power Beats Pro. Top covers off the right side came off really nice all I could see is that you have to be careful when using the razor blade not to point it upwards but just point it down not actually more like straight instead of pointing it any direction because it can ruin the board or it can puncture through the button and then it won't be water resistant so let's go ahead and keep the right side parts on the right side let's continue That's interesting. So it's all interconnected -connect into one ribbon. That's really interesting. So it looks like there is no power board or there is no battery on this side because the Power Beats Pro has the batteries on both sides. Is this charger port cover? Interesting, interesting. So then the board and everything else can come apart slowly. I won't be doing that here because it's a lot more difficult to do that. Just don't want to tear anything. Just kind of want to just keep it straightforward. And there's the wires going through the whole ear hook. So the ear hook's in charge of having the whole wire go through it. There will probably be a way how to replace the ear hook, but it will probably end up just unsoldering all those wires, pulling them out replacing the ear hook it's going to consist of actually replacing the whole wire instead of just the ear hook so that's a little bit interesting but just the design itself is is very interesting like it's all interconnected and it's, it's I would say it's a lot more a lot more complex to repair but 
it's definitely doable and there's no sensor anymore on like the Powerbeats Pro specific same design but just doesn't have the notch here just to know when the headphones are in your ear or out the ear so everything looks really similar so just just a different I think it's a better design just for repairability but we'll just have to see because this whole power board thing is connected all, all into one board so we'll see how that works maybe there's some sort of ribbon inside here we'll be able to disconnect and just attach a new board but that's that's kind of unknown right now at this time so let's go ahead and tear into the left side we'll be having repair videos in the future once we figure out how to open up everything perfectly without having it destroyed and just keeping it the most simplest for you guys. Same thing goes with this side. Oh, your butt's turned on, let me turn them off. Once you go a little bit further in, you can you can see once it starts lifting up. Then you can go ahead and take it out of that clip once again. Looks like this side has something else rather than a clip. Hmm, interesting. We'll see. Oh, because this, there's only, oh, I get it. So there's only one pause play, which is on the right side. And this is not a button. So that's why it doesn't have the clip, like the Powerbeats Pro it had the clip on both sides because both units, both separate units were in charge of pause play up and down volume. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So let's continue taking it apart. No need to really worry about getting that clip up. So the battery looks very, very similar to the Powerbeats 3 and the Powerbeats 2. We're back to the square shape instead of Powerbeats Pro being the circle battery, the Insignia battery, which, which is better in my, exactly the same battery as the Powerbeats 2 and Powerbeats 3. Let me see the milliamp power. Let me open up this cover, just the sealant. Oh, oh they wrote all the, all the stuff on the ceiling so I can't really see how much milliamps of power because the power beats 3 and the power beats 2 had the 90 milliamp power so but uh, the wires are more insulated more better less freighty so there's no worrying worrying about shortage of any kind so that's that's really good so let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper before anything just so I can not break the ribbon because it looks like the ribbon is attached to this cover and you will definitely have to go in there with some sort of heat just to pry it out in order for the power button to be loose but let's
back with some tweezers. Back here, back to the left side. Trying to see if I can take that power button out. Just to make sure it's not in the... I also don't want to be damaging it either. It's definitely in there. cover came off so there's just a little bit of glue which is good to know it's right there in this in the end so, definitely looks like a very very cheap board it was way more complex before it looks more mostly looks like a fake kind of like a fake internals like this is what you would see in a fake unit. I mean, the battery is the only real thing I would see, but everything else, I mean, the blackboard, I mean, I get that, but everything else looks like the wires, those, just everything looks, looks way, way too unreal with it. But that's pretty much it. I mean, so in order to replace the main wire, you would have to unsolder everything get a new main wire, new ear hook, everything, and pretty much do the same to that side. It's kind of nice because everything is connected on the right side. There's the board, everything's connected to there, so you can just pull the wire through and feed it in. It's, it's definitely a good place to go, and it's gonna be making, it's gonna be making some head progress, but slowly but surely we'll be putting out some repair videos for you guys but anyway that's that's kind of where I'm gonna go to today uh, don't really want to be taking apart speakers right now it's for a later video but there you have it that is a little bit of a teardown for the power beats pro HP if that's what you would call it have a good one guys